<clears throat> Welcome back to the Seven Deadly Sins Anime Review, episode number thirty-four. This is going to be the thirty-fourth. No, the the eightieth uh, episode of the anime, Holy Wars Victims. Yep. Now this episode, this is a bit of a surprise. Okay. Now this episode adapts from the final page of chapter two seventy-one. The basically toward the end of chapter two seventy two, yeah, it's like toward the very end. I'd say like, like from what I can tell, anyways, for two seventy three, where it looks like they started adapting just the first page of the chapter for two seventy two. They skip over most of it. Yeah, they skip over most of it. And then they get to, like, uh, let's see, one, two, basically it gets to the third to last page of the chapter, and then pretty much they go through the entirety of chapter 273, basically they go through the entirety of chapter 273, yep, they pretty much go through that, and also, in the case of the other chapters, well, they finish up adapting 289, adapting the last two pages of that chapter, and go through the entirety of chapters 290 to 292. So, yeah, that's as far as they adapted for this episode. It's kind of like bits and pieces. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if they actually had the stuff they cut off for 272. I'm hoping it's for next week, because that was a pretty interesting little plot thing. Okay, so, the episode surprisingly does not start in purgatory this time. Yes, that's something quite interesting about this episode. It's the first episode of the season not to start on Purgatory. Because most of the episodes put outside. We start off with basically where... We kind of left off last week where we have es we have Escanor. Where he is... take We just basically finish slicing up Zedros. And then his power gets zapped out because... Kresnik basically decided to activate his darkness power. And then, of course, we have it where he is faced off against, I think it's supposed to be Larsil. And Merlin is faced off against, well, the other guy. And Larsil gets pretty much, her outfit pretty much wrecked. Yeah, where she's pretty much showing off some skin. Not in, And she's also got her head basically a little bruised on her forehead. Though she fixed it a little later. And as the case goes there, he is wounded, but apparently... Apparently, Larsil doesn't freaking care about healing up the man who's in love with basically the woman who he's possessing. Yeah, he doesn't freaking care. In case you're curious, though, yes, he did this in the manga, too, so don't worry, that's not changing the manga. And they do this for a while, and then we have, Lar we have, Kurt, I don't remember the guy's name, he's basically a teacher. Then he does completely unexpected. Well, it, he does in the manga, too. He tries to use the same ability on Merlin to use on Arthur to use him to kill himself. And Merlin's like, no, that won't work on me because I got the blessing of the goddess. So, she gets right on top of it in her child form, and she says, time for payback for what you did to Arthur, you jerk. She's about to do it, and then she, the two demons, and Zeno start convulsing. Even Larsil basically is going through this too. And then we cut to Purgatory. Or we see Melios and Bond. Now, Melios basically is something wrong with him, too. And then, the most shocking thing of the episode, and thank you, Studio Dean. This was a fantastic moment where they basically build up to the, basically this. We see the first time in this anime, with him speaking, the Demon King. Oddly enough, you know the one thing strange about Demon King? Has anybody ever said what this guy's name is? Yeah, it's, it's a title, The Demon King. Has anybody actually said what this guy's name is at all? I only thought his name is The Demon King. Because that's something that even the writers never explain. Who the heck is this guy? I get the fact he's the rule, he's the king of all demons. But, what is this guy's name? Aside from the fact he's the father of Zedros and Melionis... And supposedly Esther Rosa get this whole thing of every convulsing. Heck, even the other two archangels are convulsing too, along with uh I'm trying to think, what was the what was the woman's name? I kinda of forgot her name. It was um
Daenery. Yeah, she pretty much. Yeah, yeah, Daenerys basically convulsing too. Yeah, there's a reason for this. Why is everybody convulsing? Heck, Demon King even points out though that that he doesn't even remember like him having a third son. He only, he probably remembers only having two, and they try to remember who Mel is, and they can't remember the guy's name. They can't remember his face. Yeah, the reason for this is because of Gother. No, not the puppet Gother. The man who created him. The original Gother. Yeah, it turns out he used a forbidden spell. Yes, a forbidden spell to manipulate any everybody who knew Mel. Not only people, not only demons and goddesses, but also the, the, the main goddess, even the demon king himself. It's, oh yeah, he's not Mel, he's Esterosa. Oh, and his memories, like Esterosa killing Mel. Never happened. Basically, it's basically when, when Mel first got the memory alteration. Well, the one thing that was kind of true was basically him being jealous of Elizabeth's love for Mel Yonis. That basically was told from a different perspective. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and also his love for his brother. That actually does not come from that's not come for Mel Yonis, for the brother love for Mel Yonis. That's actually for Larcille. Yep. And then they show off Mel in present day. We actually cut back to the moment we actually, some people have been waiting since the end of season three. When we have Gother, King, Elizabeth, and Hawk, along with Tarmiel and uh, why is the guy's name? Sorrow, yeah, Sorrow, where, <clears throat> yeah. Where, yeah, basically Gotha reveals basically what happened. And then Esteros basically crumbles and now he's Mel. Yep, he is Mel. He's back in his old white outfit and he's got his four wings. Yep, Esterosa is the Archangel Mel. The one who was supposedly killed. Also, you gotta love basically seeing Margaret, well, or seeing Margaret's body basically bending over backwards, like, ah, my head. Yeah, she's doing that. And now, in case you're curious, though, the whole thing of basically Merlin on the ground, that's taken from the start of chapter 293, roughly the first couple pages of the chapter. So, at least gotta praise the fact of how far they got within just a few episodes. Yep. And, well, that's pretty much it that I can think of. Yeah, it's a pretty good episode. Shocking cliffhanger. And we're going to resolve this next week. And in the case of probably for next week, we're probably going to move forward basically with this ending. From what I can tell from the preview for next week, we're actually move forward from 274 onwards. Yeah. Now, from what I can tell anyways, for this particular arc, like, how many, like, episodes are left to be adapted? That's a really good question here. Let's see. Well, in the case of this arc itself, well, part of the se season, they only got to, like, chapter, like, 271. That's just... Well, let's see. When they started this three weeks ago, they only did from 268, 273, through 285, and 286. That's as far as they got with it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, 285, 286, where they started with the whole... Thing with Merlin and her group basically going after, yeah, that's kind of toward the end. And since they got to 82, one, two, three, four, five, six, Roughly about 24 chapters left to go to be adapted for this whole arc. Yeah, 24. Mm -hmm. That's how much there are left. And though I have this personal theory that in the case of the new Holy War arc, that we're presumably going to go through this whole arc basically within the first half of the season. But this is only episode 4, and we only got 24 episodes left. 22 episodes left. Well, because they technically did start adapting this particular arc with the previous season of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did with the the. Basically, the 21st episode of the season. Mm -hmm. Well, they went from like 256 to 258. Yeah, where they, they started with the, the final chapter of 
of New Holy War and went straight to 258. That was just in the first episode of this arc. Yep, and the next one went from 250, 261. Which everything goes a little smoothing until they get to 24. Yeah, and then it goes from 261 to 266. And then with the final episode, this one was kind of weird. With This one was like 265, 260, 668, 272, and 285. Yeah, so we're kind of in a way, basically, almost starting to fill in the gap between the stuff. And then we kind of go back and start filling in. Yeah, basically we're kind of in the way what basically Black Clover did with with the reincarnation. Basically Death and stuff here, Death and Slayer stuff basically put in the same episode and basically because a lot of the stuff takes place around the same time, so why not? Yep. So I get the reason why Studio D did this because they probably copied the idea from Studio Parrot. Basically that taking this chapter from this portion and this chapter from this portion your arc could basically put them in the same episode because they all take place from the same time. And this is probably also so fans don't have to wait 20 episodes like, oh, we have people convulsing this episode, and then about five episodes later, we have more people convulsing. Yeah, look at this all hand one episode, which, thank God, basically, Studio Dean did that. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as I can tell, they have not officially announced how many episodes seasons are going to get, per se. I am presuming 24. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be 24. Yep, 24. Which I'm like, okay, that's interesting to say the least. Yep, 24. That's how many episodes we're going to get for this season, which is interesting. This actually was released just last month. Yeah, that we're going to get 24 episodes, which... Yeah, I kind of get the reason why. It actually... It makes sense. That... This is going to be covered in just 24 episodes. So I'm hoping though that presumably in the next four or five episodes. I'm sure that probably soon they're probably going to wrap up this arc. Because we're getting kind of close to it. You would figure though with this episode getting 292 with only just. Oh, I think it was like 14 chapters I think it was. Let's see. What up to 292 that means there's about 14 left. After this one. Yeah 14 plus basically the in-between stuff mm -hmm. so yeah so I would say not many I would, I would say presumably about five or six episodes but I, I, I kind of think that this arc will take up the first half of basically season two well season four this season anyways yeah because this arc is really freaking long yeah and then the arc comes right after this Demon King arc this one is roughly like 18 chap it's like 20 chapters and technically you could consider this one the final arc it's really short and it goes from 35 to 343 it's like I'd say like 8 chapters epilogue is like 3 chapters that's it just 3 and that, and that and that's technically the final arc of the series this one's new holy war the, the longest arc of the series so we're going to be on this one for quite a while. Yep. So yeah. Then might as well save this episode. It's good. Okay, so that's it for Sick Love You. And that's probably going to be a video today. I'm probably going to do my Comic Corner 1 today part there tomorrow. Along with the newest episode of Dr. Stone. Hopefully I manage to review it the same day it comes out. It's presume anyways. I think it's possible. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.